Hello guys, good old Saturday tradition of video from my car and topic of the day is one important decision every developer should consider when having the problems when working in some company. So quite often I see the scenario of developers are not kind of not allowed to write quality code. What do I mean by that? There are always deadlines and there are always features to release. So for example, you have a task list of five tasks and you need to complete them in five days. Although actually to make it quality work, you would need 10 days. But since the deadlines are tight and managers pressure you and teammates pressure you, your startup, your company need to deliver more features. So it becomes kind of a feature factory where managers and the whole team overlooks the quality and the long-term vision for the project. It's a really, really often scenario. Everyone saves money on quality, especially smaller budget startups. They don't spend enough time on things like automated testing, like refactoring when the problems arise. And then down the line, if the project is successful, it will bite you. Either bite yourself as a developer or the whole team or future developers and at the end business themselves. So if you are a developer in that situation where the company doesn't really give you the opportunity to shine with the quality of the code and to think long term with refactoring some structure, with automated testing, with ensuring the stability of the project, you have one question to ask yourself. Do you want to work in that company? Because obviously that means that that company doesn't care that much about long term quality, they care about short term profit. And don't get me wrong, from business side, it's totally normal if you have small budget in a startup and you have a proof of concept to release, your resources are limited and you really don't have time to ensure the long-term quality because that long-term time may not appear. So then your goal as a business is to literally release everything as fast as possible. But then, going back to the developer side, do you really want to work in such company? If you are in such situation, your first step should be actually talk to the managers. Explain the situation that if you don't make sure that this and that is in place, like processes for automated testing, like using proper version control for deployment, some of those things don't take that much time. Or explain that you need more time to deliver certain features if they want quality features, that you need to think some more about what structure to use and experiment some more and maybe refactor some old stuff. Or if you encountered some bug and the best way to fix that is not to fix the bug itself, but refactor some other parts, bigger part of the application, tell that to the manager. And if a few times they refuse to give you more time because it's not the priority, then it means it's not a global priority for them. The quality is not the priority. And what it means for your career. If you stay at that company, you won't evolve as a developer. And if in the future you need to look for another job, then on your CV, you wouldn't be able to list the practice of best practices of TDD, of solid principles, of refactoring, stuff like that. So to evolve in your career, you obviously need to work with best practices, with quality code and with a team who respect that. So similarly, as a businessman, you shouldn't look for short term profit over long term profit. Same for your developer career. Don't look for short term money for short term salary. Also invest in your long term career and maybe change off the company would bring that necessary next step to evolve in your career. Of course, changing the company is not that easy. Looking for another job is not an easy process. Maybe in your situation it would be impossible to find another job. I'm not sure. But generally that's the thing that you should think about. Do you evolve as a developer in your current company, in your current position? If not, what can you do about it? Do you agree with my thoughts? Have you been in that situation? Have you changed the companies before because of that decision or similar situation? Share in the comments below and see you guys in other videos.